Hey everybody, this is Brian again. I uh, just wanted to go over some of the Moto2 Unity and Unreal workflows that I've discovered over the past a little bit. Uh, this won't be news for anyone that does this sort of thing a lot, but for people like me that are relatively new to Unity and Unreal, uh, hopefully some of these steps will help. And seeing Unity and Unreal are free to dabble with, uh, it would make sense that you dabble. So I have my simple tentacle asset here. It's nothing fancy, just a little waving action. Um, I gotta tell you, this whole PBR workflow, I mean, is is new to me, but it's pretty cool. I'm enjoying it. I mean, on the Unreal material, you only have a few slots here, but with a combination of a couple maps, you can get some really nice effects. So um, these are nothing fancy, just black and white maps. Uh, you set the effect to them just like you would on any other material. And to access these, just add layer uh, custom. And they're right here, Unity and Unreal. So I have a spec. You can see how that's where the spec's black. There's no spec. Where it's white, there's spec. Uh, another thing to note is that once these maps go on, the values that you have on the base material are completely overwritten. So right now, if I adjust spec, it has no effect. Uh, metallic right now, if I dial it in and out, you know, I can crank it to whatever, negative 30. But as soon as I turn on the metallic map, it gets set. And same with roughness. Um, so then I got a skin color for my super cool electric icicle glacier thing. I have a normal, just to break it up a little bit. I have an emissive. And I have an occlusion. It's awesome. Okay, so now I want to send this whole thing to Unreal. And this really couldn't be any easier. Um, as long as you have an Unreal material here, everything's set up here, you're good to go. So in the game's layout, you have your presets, Unreal Engine, Unity, and all that. I'm going to select Unreal Engine. I'm going to go to a folder I've chosen. And by default, animation and this is checked off. I need to check them on because I want to take my animation with me. I want to copy my textures and that's going to put the all these textures here into a folder that I can access and export as. So we'll call it Tentacle Unreal. I'll save that. And we're good. Okay, so here we are on Unreal. Uh, once you have your plugin installed, you'll get your little Moto icon up here. And then you just got to bring in your assets. So I'm going to import my tentacle FBX. And <clears throat> because I have animations on this, you're going to want to make sure that you check this off, import animations. Many times I imported it without and complained that the importer was broken. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we'll import that. I get this error on the joints, but I don't know unit or Unreal good enough to fix it, so don't worry about it. Okay, so here we go, Unreal Tentacle. I can drag that in. I'll scale that up. So it's a super massive, awesome ice tentacle. And let's go get our material. So Moto Material is going to ask for the XML file that got exported with the FBX. So we'll click on that. And Unreal's going to think for a second. And there we go. So it's built the material, Unreal Tentacle material. I've got the base color, my emissive, my normal, my ambient occlusion, all the stuff that was plugged in in Moto is plugged in in here with one click. So I can close this. Yep, save the changes. And there we go. The material has been applied to the ice tentacle. But it's not animated yet, so we can, if you go down here with it selected, if you go into here, the animation, and click down here, oh, it's kind of tough to get, sorry, this one, uh, use animation asset, and if you've exported animation, it'll be lo listed here. So click on that, and you can see it'll pop into place, and it's not playing yet, 
but if we go play our game then we'll be able to watch so let's hit play and then you could just use the arrow keys here oh there we go super awesome iced oh hey now super awesome awesome ice tentacle in all its glory with its specks and its blooms and its emissive color that's really all there is to it for getting assets in good times okay so let's take a look at unity um, back in moto same setup uh, except all these materials now are unity materials with unity effects and you access those like you get to any other effect unity they're all listed down here uh, so I can turn on the metallic and again once these values are plugged in these sliders are kind of void and I can plug in my roughness, I can plug in my normal, my color, my emissive, and my occlusion. And there we go. Exactly the same as it was in Unreal. Or is it? Um, on the Unity material, this took me a while to figure out as well, um, the base color is multiplied by the color. So if you have this set to black, your material will be black as well. Same with the emissive color. If this is set to black, then you get no emissive. So you'll need to crank that to white. I usually had them turned down to black when I was adjusting these other materials because it's kind of tough to see the spec and stuff on white. So our material is good to go. Looks the same as it did for Unreal. And that would work if we were staying in Moto. But we're not. We're going to Unity. And Unity has a couple different rules for importing its materials. So let's go take a look at those. So here we are in Unity. I'm just going to, in the Assets folder, I'm just going to right click. I'm going to create a material. Doesn't need a name. OK, so if you look up here, if you just hover over Albedo, it says Albedo is expecting to be in the RGB in the transparency channel. The metallic is expected to be in the red channel, and the smoothness is expecting to be in the A channel. So yeah, the smoothness is in the alpha of the metallic. The normal map is normal. Height map gets put into the green channel and occlusion gets put into the green channel. Uh, you would want to use one or the other of these and in either case you just have to make a separate map. Uh, emission has its own RGB channel and detail mask goes into the alpha. So what does that all mean? Let's go take a look. Okay, so in review, the smoothness is going into the alpha of the metallic. The metallic goes into the red channel, and the occlusion goes into the green channel. Let's do this. Okay, so the smoothness goes into the alpha of the metallic. So to do that, we're going to need to see our channels. So with your layers open, click your channels here. And smoothness, I got this called roughness because it was that's what it's called in Unreal but smoothness is the same thing in Unity. So control A, control C. So I've copied roughness. I'm going to paste it into the alpha of metallic, but metallic doesn't have one. So click here to add an alpha and then just control V. So now it's been pasted into the alpha. Uh, back to our cheat sheet. Metallic goes into the red channel. Well, we're already on metallic, which means red will be plugged into here, or metallic values we've plugged into here. And now we need occlusion, which goes into the green. So I'm going to control C that, and I'm going to go back to the metallic, select the green channel, and control V that. There we go. So now we've got occlusion in the green, metalness in the red, roughness in the alpha. And we're going to need to save this out with a format that supports alpha 1. Uh, you can use TIFFs, you can use Targas, but I've been using PNGs. Uh, Photoshop's default PNG does not support this, so I have a plugin called Super PNG, and you can download that for free. Uh, it's available for Windows or Mac, and then you'll be good to go. Okay, so let's save this out. File, save as Super PNG. I'm going to call it Skin. M-A-S, Metallic Ambient Smoothness, Super PNG, and we'll save it. 
Uh, I don't need my metadata, but I want to save alpha 1, not a clean transparent alpha 1. Small file, yes please. Okay, so give it a second to think. And back to Moto. Okay, so let's blow away these. We don't need metallic anymore, we don't need roughness, and we don't need occlusion. So I'll delete those. There we go. So let's go Unity, Add Layer, Image Map, and Load Image. Skin, Mass, PNG, and Open. Okay, so Unity, and we'll set this to Metallic. And nothing's happening. What's going on? So we need to use a new feature in Moto 10, and that's called Swizzling. What the swizzle? So I'm going to duplicate this, and I'm going to duplicate it again. Okay, so we know that Unity Metallic is in the red channel. So if you go down here on the texture, you've got to turn on the swizzle and the channel is red. For this one, this is going to be our Unity Smoothness. And smoothness is in the alpha. We remember that. Turn on the swizzling. Smoothness is in the alpha. And our last one is Occlusion. And we know that Unity uh, Occlusion, turn on our swizzling, was in the green. Actually, these need their textures set up from cubic to UV and tentacle UV. There we go. So here we go. Our material is set up. It's now Unity friendly with the swizzle on. And uh, let's send it over and take a peek. Same folder as the Unreal project went to, but now it's set to Unity. Um, the default preset turns off copy textures, but I want to copy the textures. I just like having them in that folder. And I also want to save the animations again. So export as, Tentacle Unity, save. Replace it. Awesome. So here we are in Unity. Uh, in your editor folder, you should have your Moto Material importer script. First time I ran Unity, I didn't have this editor folder. I had to make it. Um, so you might have to too, I'm not sure, but just in case, the script goes in the editor folder. Okay, so back to Assets, right-click, Import New Asset. I'll go to the Tentacle folder, and I'm going to grab Tentacle Unity, because that's what we exported. Now I need to import New Asset and go get the XML as well. So that's a Tentacle, Tentacle Unity XML, Import. Uh, usually if you click on this, it'll update. If not, you can drag it in here. Sometimes that'll update the thumbnail. If not, you can click on this, and you'll get the force re-import, and that will force a re-import of the textures. And that usually it'll update the thumbnail. So if I click on this now, I can orbit around. You can see we've got all our materials and goodness all loaded up with our swizzle and if we hit play there we are with our unity tentacle awesome games games games